One of the most ambitious undertakings that the CBS network has done in a long time is The Blue and the Gray, Bruce Catton's novel of the Civil War. And it's going to be airing November the 14th right here on 1011 Strong. Here are two of the stars. <laughs> this is John Hammond, and he is the vehicle, really, through which this story is told. And he falls in love with Kathleen Beller. Mm -hmm. And aren't they a handsome couple? Aren't they basically a handsome couple? Let me ask you both. What was it like working with Gregory Peck? And what was it like working with Laurence Olivier? Isn't that terrible? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Every, here are two young people, and they've both had the opportunity to act with some of the big stars. And invariably, that's the question that everybody always asks them. What was it like working with Gregory Peck? What was it like working with Lawrence Olivier? What was it like? No, I haven't worked with Lawrence Olivier in years, so I don't know. Are you really left-handed? Are you really left-handed? Yes. I know what you were before, before you were a star on television. What? A wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, were you a good, you're a real trim. What weight category were you in? 126. 126? Yeah. That's little. Couldn't do that now. No, <laughs> no, no. How, how good of a wrestler were you? Pretty good. Pretty yeah. good? Yeah. Well, did you ever see him wrestle? No, I never, never met him. You never, <laughs> did, did, you, did you two ever meet before this? No. Hmm. Well, of course, the, uh, this takes place, what, eight, starting 1859. You get to wear those wonderful costumes with the great hoop skirts. I saw you up on a horse, leaving the Battle of Bull Run <laughs> with your hoop skirt way back up. Uh, was it difficult to maneuver in all those costumes? Mm -hmm. It was impossible. It was incredible. We did take after take just to get me up on the horse in a hoop skirt. I mean... Yeah. Why did you strike her so hard? <laughs> Why did you hit this young woman so hard? Well, it says in the script she's hysterical, <laughs> so I have to hit her to uh, bring her to her senses but it's one of those where horses are charging by and bombs and it's you only get one chance because to do that take again we'd have to take all the horses back up to the top of the hill reload all the explosions and bury them you know so you just one chance so he slugged me <laughs> so i just hit her and she leaned into it and see uh, you're supposed to you know turn your head away as the slap comes but i was so into it that i didn't do that so I just kept looking at him, and he just went, bam. You, you turned the wrong way then? No, I didn't turn. You di oh, your teeth. You have to worry about your teeth. Now, no, really, when, when you're going to be struck, as, as an actor, you know it's coming. And there's the tendency, I would think, to flinch or at least, you know, to, to kind of protect yourself. No, no, I was too worried about the horses walking by me and the bombs going off. And uh, we didn't rehearse the scene at great length. And, and I'm not a stunt woman, I mean, I, I don't know. So I just was looking at him and he just hauled off and hit me. <laughs> and that was going to be your easy day, the day where you only had two, two lines. lines. Two lines, and how long did it take to do the scene? All day, I guess. Yeah, yeah. John, what was the hardest thing for you in, in The Blue and the Gray? Because you're in <clears> I, <throat> almost every scene. Um, well, the hard, the hard thing was that it was so long and to, uh, to stay healthy and, and just keep going and try not to, you know, uh, lo have a an off day. You mean by staying healthy, you mean because the hours are so long, like you've got to get, you have to have your sleep. Oh, you yeah. He would run every morning in the freezing cold. Yeah. But it's, you know, you go there and you have three months and you, you cannot get sick. And you can't, uh, you come home keyed up, but you have to go right to sleep and you know 5 30 in the morning get up and and it's more uh you know one day that you stay out and and have some fun and come dragging the next day well then it then you start a spiral and you can't recover you know and you lose you just you have to be on top of it at all times mm -hmm. now where was this shot arkansas the whole th the entire thing in mm -hmm. arkansas mm -hmm. and but yet that area looks like the washington, gettysburg area yeah. of washington yeah. Why didn't they shoot it in Washington? Because Washington has skyscrapers. Oh, <laughs> so they had to find an area. Uh -huh. yeah. And now, do you have to just commit yourself? It took you three months. How long did it take you? Only about a month, on and off. I had it very easy. I sort of flew in, did a few scenes, flew out. And where do you live? In Los Angeles. So you, you just go there for that period of time? For a week, like a week at a time or two weeks at a time. Did you move in for three months? Yeah. You have to do that? Yeah. Yeah, well, you've really done an incredible job. What was the hardest thing for you?
keeping it straight, the continuity, um, it was such an enormous script, mm -hmm. and I sort of weave in and out, unlike you, that you're in through the whole thing. We would do a scene, and I didn't know what had come before or after, and I just would get confused with the continuity mm -hmm. and the hoop skirts. <laughs> oh, yes. But they shot yours all in sequence, so you had... Oh, no. no. Oh. But he knew, he was in all the scenes, so at least he knew them. Uh, for instance, if someone died, I wasn't in the scene where they died, so I didn't know that they died, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. It was just hard for me. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think is going to happen? It's the the uh, airing of it is going to skip a night. It starts on a Sunday night, it's going to skip a Monday and go to Tuesday and Wednesday. Do you think that's going to affect the people's watching it at all? Yeah, for the, for the good. Oh, the well, why, why do you say that? Well, I think it was originally done that so that they wouldn't have to contend with Monday Night Football. Mm -hmm. And they may or may not have to deal with that now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. But often, if, you, if, if, a, if a series starts, oh, I missed the first episode, well, tonight I'll miss the second. It just gives people, if they do happen to miss the first one, at least it gives them a chance to really get into the mm -hmm. end. Now, you haven't even seen it yet. No. <laughs> I have no idea what it looks like. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. What do you think? You like you like the nice. job you did? Yeah, I think the whole thing is is very impressive. Are you the kind of person when you watch yourself acting, you say, "Oh, I, sh I could have done that better," or are you, are you, did you put enough into it at that point where you say, "Hey, that's right"? Um, yeah, I well, you know, sometimes um, I don't ever. You can't change it. You pretty much you can only do what you can do. And what I look for is. Um, was I pretty relaxed? Did I just let it happen? And if I did, then that's the best I can do. You know, I mean, that's, that's it. You seem like a very serious young man, are you? Uh, not usually. <laughs> <laughs> not usually. We saw him before in Scared Straight. Yeah. The, uh, was that the first, the initial one? First film I ever made, yeah. The first film, that was um, very significant. That was a very significant film and scared a lot of us. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Do you think it had any effect on kids not going into prison? <clears throat> I'm sure it's had some effect. I mean, they've there have been mixed reviews. I'm the producer has letters from kids who one wrote in and said, "I uh, some friends of mine the other night were going to rob a gas station, and they are now in jail." And I, after seeing your program, and I, there are studies, you know, about its effects. But I mm -hmm. think it's done some good. Mm -hmm. As they say, if, if, it, if it stops one, then it's done yeah, some good. Yeah, it's done, yeah. right. Well, we'll be looking forward to seeing them in the blue and the gray. They are the stars. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the story of the Civil War coming up November the 14th. Kathleen, John, nice to meet you. Nice good to meet luck. you. Good luck. And 10-11 morning continues.